Welcome to your second violin lesson. So by the end of this video, you should be able to know the different names of the strings on the violin. You should also be able to tune your violin. So that's gonna be very important because every time you pick up your violin to play, you're gonna have to do this. So I wanna make sure that you know how to tune your violin correctly. So starting from the third string, which is gonna, this is gonna be your A string. That's what it sounds like. Then your D string, second string, your first string, G string, your fourth string, E string. Okay, so let me go over that again, just for repetition. So A, D, G, E. Okay, you're gonna notice that the strings get go from thick to thin. So from the lower notes, it's gonna be thicker. And then E string, which is the thinnest, is going to be your, your higher note. So now I'm going to show you how to tune your violin. But before we get into it, I'm, I just want to warn you that this can be a little bit difficult at first because if your ears are not trained to hear the notes, it's going to be very hard to know if you're in tune or not. So I would heavily rely on a tuning app to help you with this process. I would recommend getting Tuner T1. Just type in Tuner space T1 or just Tuner on the app store, whether you're using an Android phone or an Apple phone, it sh there should be something there for you. How these tuner apps work, if you play a tone, it'll tell you whether that tone is sharp or flat. So if, I, if you hear me saying it's too sharp, that's what that means. If it's too sharp, it's too high, high of a pitch. And if it's low, you'll hear me say that it's flat. Tuner T1, this is what it looks like. But if you look down here, there's letters and these are actually the notes. So you can use these as a reference to, to see if your violin is in tune or not. For the A string, I would actually practice hearing that note. And then try to try to find that tone on your violin. So let's say it's very out of tune. I'm just gonna, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make my violin very out of tune. So recognize that this note is actually lower than this note. Now I know that's lower, it's too flat, way too flat. So I'm gonna turn my peg this way. So that's clockwise. Against, okay, so. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to do this, but I made it, I got it exactly to the right tone that I want. So, so what I'm doing is holding the violin and pushing, I'm pushing the peg into my violin as I turn it. Because if I just twist it, it'll loosen itself and it'll unravel the entire string. So you don't want that to happen. So then once you get it close enough with your, with your peg, next would be to use your fine tuners, right? I don't have a fine tuner for my A, D, and G string, but I do have for the E strings. Let's say it's, it's close enough, right? I tuned it with the peg. So what I would do is to make it sharper, higher in tone, you wanna turn it clockwise. To make it lower, counterclockwise. If you, if you see over here, you can tell that it's not there yet. It's getting there. Oh, it's very close. All right, I think it's in tune. Just one more thing to note is because this has happened to me often enough, I feel like I need to mention this. So when you're tuning your violin, what happens is that as you tune them, it stretches the string. This is called a bridge right here, is that it might slowly pull this way and if it goes too much, the tension of the strings will push it down and your, your bridge will get knocked off. If you notice that that's happening, you can use your fingers and just push it back a little bit. 